There are a few different ways that band mill blades are manufactured. The teeth of the blade can be milled, plunged ground, or stamped, and then either flame hardened or induction hardened. Many mill manufacturers make lofty claims concerning mill production, but are really more interested in how well the machine functions mechanically than how much it can produce or how well it cuts. When using a three-quarter inch tooth spaced blade, the amount of set required is higher than with a seven-eighth inch blade because the longer tooth can carry more sawdust out of the cut. Whereas the three-quarter inch tooth cannot and requires more set in the blade to create the clearance needed to properly remove sawdust out of the cut and maintain proper airflow through the cut. Running a blade with more set on the outside of the blade will naturally cause the blade to want to dive into the log because the teeth on the outside are biting into more wood than the teeth on the inside of the blade. This is usually very evident and can be diagnosed quickly by checking the set of the blade. If you increase the pressure applied to the cutting edge of the tooth, you will not damage the teeth, but you will stretch the gullets of your blade and eventually cause the blade to crack. A dull blade is being stretched at the back of the blade, crushed at the gullet edge, and then stretched again towards the teeth. As the blade exits the cut, it explodes back straight